air bubbles in the measuring cell of the ZetaView instrument can appear very differently. For example, a gray or almost white background in the field of view indicates an air bubble. If the field of view is only half filled with particles, this may also be an indication of an air bubble in the measuring cell. In addition to a reduced or insufficient number of particles, air bubbles that cannot be seen in the field of view can also cause drift problems. Air bubbles can usually arise by introducing them during the injection process or because the instrument and the cell assembly were insufficiently rinsed with water or buffer. If there is an air bubble in the measuring cell and the instrument is only filled with water or buffer, but not with the sample particles, simply inject another 2 to 5 milliliters of liquid by applying a little more pressure. In most cases, this will move the air bubble out of the measuring cell. If this does not work, remove all fluid from the fluidic system by injecting 10 to 20 milliliters of air by using an empty syringe. Then, refill the system with liquid by activating the corresponding pump and injecting liquid from the front during the pumping process. By pumping and simultaneously injecting liquid from the front, the dead volume between the injection valve and the measuring cell in the cell assembly is also filled with liquid. If an air bubble appears and the system is already filled with a sample, you can try to inject a little more sample with a short, forceful push from the syringe to move the air bubble away. The prerequisite for this is that the syringe with the sample is still located at the injection port and that there is still some sample volume left in the syringe. If the air bubble cannot be removed in this way and it only occurs in one single measurement position, you can still perform a measurement. The corresponding measurement position is then rated as an outlier in the 11 position table. However, if the air bubble extends over all measuring positions and it cannot be removed, remove the sample from the fluidic system by first injecting 10 to 20 milliliters of air with an empty syringe. Unfortunately, you will lose the sample in this way. Then, refill the system with the appropriate buffer by activating the corresponding pump and injecting buffer from the front during the pumping process. Then inject the sample again. Please also refer to our video tutorial that describes how to reduce air bubbles during injection. It's easy peasy.